Uh, currently in Ireland we have a very good cervical cancer screening programme called Cervical Check and this offers pap smears to women and what a pap smear does is it identifies precancerous changes in the cervix. Now, these changes can be a low grade abnormality or a high grade abnormality and the difference is in these is that low grade abnormalities only a small percentage of these will go on to turn into a high grade abnormality which could then lead on to cervical cancer whereas a high grade abnormality there's a much higher risk of that developing into cervical cancer. So these type of abnormalities tend to be treated immediately and brought into what's called coposcopy for further investigations. Whereas the low grade abnormalities, women are brought back for repeat smears and eventually into coposcopy where they're investigated a bit further before they're treated. And what we aim to do is to identify which, one of the, which of these women are actually at risk and really need to go into coposcopy and have this further investigation and have their repeat smears and everything else that's associated with that. And which women don't need to do that and can stay in routine screening and with their own GP. We enrolled 1,500 women into this study. We took a cervical smear at their first visit into coposcopy, which we did a number of different tests on. And we followed them up over their time in coposcopy from their first visit to their follow-up visits at six-month intervals. Um, and what we did here is we monitored how many of these women with a low-grade abnormal smear actually had a high-grade abnormality identified at some stage during their follow-up period, which was 18 months. When we looked at this, we found that by combining a combination of two particular tests, we could identify 93% of the women who went on to develop a high-grade abnormality out of this whole population. We were also able to identify one-third of this population of women with low-grade abnormal smears who their abnormalities regressed and went back to normal, they weren't at any risk, they didn't develop any high grade disease and could have potentially avoided going to colposcopy at all. There's a lot of, a very big psychological impact associated with having an abnormal smear and attending a colposcopy clinic and work that's been done within Survivor has found that these women who are having continuous abnormal smear results and attending colposcopy experience worries and concerns in relation to having cancer, um, to infertility and relationships. So by reducing this unnecessary constant callback for women with low-grade smears who aren't actually at any risk, it's going to benefit these women. It would also benefit healthcare providers. Um, there's a huge burden on colposcopy clinics as it is. There's a lot of women coming in with abnormalities. And if we can reduce this again, it will reduce their burden and allow them to focus their attention on the women who really need it.